I have the wonderful privilege of every single day standing in front of students. Teaching for me is an incredible honor and privilege to be able to stand before youth, to stand before uh, teenagers, college students, or if I'm in the PDK classroom. It gives me the opportunity to stand before children and help them find their gifts. I think that my job is to help every single child or student or adult figure out what are they good at? And then once we figure out what it is that they're very good at, how do we foster that and make it better? So every single day I get to watch the light bulbs go off. Every single day I get to see students go, oh, I didn't know that yesterday and I know that today. So I have this incredible privilege of helping students find their gifts, helping them open those gifts, watch them blossom and grow, and help nurture them along the way to help them to reach what I hope is going to be their fullest potential. Life is full of give and take. If I only had one more lesson to teach, I would uh, be wanting to make sure it was about attitude and relationships. I think the most important thing in a classroom is creating those relationships with the students so they can go to their highest potential, and it's the attitude that you walk in with. You need to have a positive attitude so that you're ready to support them in no matter what endeavor it is that they can go to and you need to have this you can do it attitude to help those students who don't have it. So my last lesson would be about how do you stay positive your entire life? How do you make sure that you're being positive? And I always want to know that when I stand before my maker that he says what gifts do you have and what gifts did you use? So hopefully I use my gifts of knowledge, use my gifts of a positive attitude and pass on to the students the idea that they can do anything they want to do. All they have to do is try and how do you always do that with a positive attitude and a loving heart? So when I stand behind my maker I hope I can say this is the attitude that I brought to my classroom and I did everything I could possibly do with all the gifts I was given. Then the spelling and the tips. I'm one of those people who have always wanted to be a teacher. I think I started wanting to teach when I was born. And I'm lucky because I get to do that. I have something that gives me passion, gives me joy, sustains me, and gives me energy. So every single day that I walk in the classroom is a wonderful experience. So I can't really pick one turning point other than the very first day of my career. And I think probably the next turning point will be the last day when I don't get that privilege to stand before students. You couldn't find it in book. Your impact is hard. You hope that every single day you've left students with something that they can take. Um, I like to call them keepers. That students will leave the classroom with something that they can say, this is a gem that I can keep. I don't necessarily think that that's always content. Lots of times, lots of teaching is about life. How to get along with others, how to cooperate, uh, maybe a little pearl of wisdom. Of course you get some content along the way. So you always hope that every single day you've left something. Lots of times as a teacher you never know your impact. You don't know if students were affected in a positive way and you hope that they do. So the impact that I hope that I leave with students is back to the positive attitude. The idea that I can do anything and if I try it's possible. So I hope that my students leave with the idea that teaching is an awesome responsibility and it's also an awesome privilege and to always remember you're not here to uh, uh, for yourself you're here for students and so always keep your classroom students centered and make them the centerpiece of what you do and I hope that I leave them with the impact that they will want to continue to enjoy the joyfulness that teaching can bring so thank you, teacher, for being... I would like to think that I didn't choose my profession. My profession chose me. I see teaching as a calling, as a gift. And I started out in the um, pre-K-12 classroom, taught all grades K through 5, a little bit of experience in middle school and high school. And my journey to Hope College is one where I had the opportunity to start to work with schools in Jakarta, Indonesia. And there was a coup and I had to come home. So I was on a sabbatical and had the opportunity to come to Hope and start and teach some classes. 
and I fell in love with college students. I fell in love with teacher ed. So I left my pre-K 12 position and came to Hope 13 years ago and haven't regretted it for a moment. So I'm fortunate every single day I get to touch children's lives, adults' lives, students' lives who are going to become teachers, and for that I'm eternally grateful. A teacher teaches to touch children's lives.